This is one of the most vibrant districts in Bangkok. Welcome to Chinatown. Hello everyone, I'm Carissa Gomez and welcome to the Wandering Sphinx channel. Today we are in the most vibrant district in Bangkok, Chinatown. So please join me as I emerge in the sight and the sound and embark on a gastronomic adventure in the heart of Chinatown, Bangkok. This is one street food adventure you don't want to miss. Chinatown, Bangkok was founded in 1782 and was established by King Taksin. Originally, it was home to the Chu Chou immigrants from China, but they quickly became the dominant ethnic group in the city. Bangkok's Chinatown is not just vibrant and lively, it also retains a lot of its Chinese culture and is famous for its temples, bustling markets, and most famous of all, its street food. So your trip to Bangkok isn't complete without checking it out. How do we get to Chinatown if you're catching public transport? then uh, catch the MRT and stop at Wat Mang Khun station and as you get off the station you will find a beautiful temple Wat Mang Khun and you're basically in the heart of it but also in Chinatown there are other places to explore there's bustling markets, there are other temples so you can explore them during the day So during the day Chinatown is also vibrant with the market scene here this is one of the markets here that you can explore You will also find delectable street food at the famous Yarat Market, including tea for slimming and beauty. It smells really good. For soup. For soup or tea? All for tea. And what I love about Chinatown in the morning is that you get this nice uh, soup, noodle soup, to start your day you come to Chinatown in the morning, then I recommend you having noodle in one of the alleyways here in the market. They make the really, really tasty and delicious noodles and it's only 60 baht. Mm. Delicious broth, so tasty. Now we're here at Yarat Road. It's top attraction here in Chinatown, considered to be food lovers delight. So let's go wander around. The heart of Bangkok's Chinatown is Yarat Road, which is why locals sometimes refer to the neighborhood as Yarat. This is the most bustling area in Chinatown and at night turns into a street food haven, attracting both locals and tourists from all over the city. You know, the biggest problem in Bangkok is not because there's so much traffic, or it's chaotic, or it's so busy and loud. The biggest problem is there's a lot of food, but not enough time to eat them. So tonight, I'm going to just take my time, enjoy, savor the experience, and have as much of this delicious food as I can. It's so hot and humid right now in Bangkok, so I think we need something to cool us down. This looks like halo halo back in the Philippines. It's a mixture of different ingredients with ice and sweet. So I want to try some. I have this, my first course for the night. It's a Thai ice dessert. They have this ice, there's a sweet lotus, uh, there is sago or pearl. Hmm. It has milk in it. It's so refreshing, it's so cold, perfect for the night. It's so hot right now, so this is a perfect start of your food, street food adventure. Hmm. And this cost 40 baht, a little over a dollar. You will also find lots of fresh seafood and they cook it fresh for you on the grill and on the spot. Crabs, scallops, shrimps, crayfish. And there's a sitting area over there and everybody seems to be really having such a great time.
here in Chinatown, a lot of the dishes have Chinese influence in them, but also you can still have some of your favorite Thai classics, such as Pad Thai. Look at this noodle, so smooth and silky. And the noodle, you know, it's not overcooked, it's just cooked enough. You have the egg, the tofu, the peanuts, explosion of flavor. Mm. Really delicious fun time. Would you believe that I've been to Bangkok? This is my third time in Bangkok and this is my first time here in Chinatown. I don't know how I missed this, but I'm really having such a great time. We're still, we still have a couple of days before we head down south to Pattaya. So I'm definitely coming back here for more. <laughs> All of this fried food is so enticing. So now I'm gonna have fried dumpling. It's kanum jib, but it's fried and I think five pieces is 50 bucks, so I'm gonna have some. Okay, now I'm having this fried dumpling, fried kadungji. It's crispy on the outside and soft and juicy in the inside. And you have this sauce that accompany with it and a bit of chili. Mm. Tastes like heaven. There's meat inside, there's cabbage, there's shallots, there's garlic. This is the tastiest dish for tonight. This is the winner. I love it. I'm also going to have one of these uh, ta siu pao or like a pork bun. So sweet, it's smoke inside, so really, really tasty. Mm. So this. It's so hard to speak when I'm not as full because I'm really enjoying the food. And for something fresh, I'm gonna have some fruit. Uh, but I've chosen green mango. It's a little sour, but it's a perfect way to end your food journey to cleanse the palate. And now I'm having this green mango. This is special to me because it reminds me back home in the Philippines when we were kids. We eat a, used to eat a lot of green mangoes with salt. A little sour, but it's perfect to cleanse the palate you know I've eaten a lot of um, fried food tonight so this is a perfect way to end the street food journey mm. Yara Road street food is open daily from Tuesdays to Sundays and they start selling up their stores from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. and until midnight so if you want to check it out you can come here uh, avoid Monday they're closed on Monday
And if you have enough fun and excitement of the craziness of Yarrow Road, then you can come here at Soy Nana. But by the way, guys, Soy Nana is the street in Chinatown, not Nana Plaza. That's a complex in the red light district part of Silicon Gate. We're going to do a separate walking video of that area. But for now, we're here at Soy Nana. It's a perfect place to end your night, have a cocktail drink or two. You'll find lots, lots of youthful and hip, cool bars here. So let's go find ourselves some drink, shall we? This looks like an interesting door. Let's go check inside. Come. Door where we've chosen uh, this hip pool bar called Pins of Thailand here in Soinana. I just enjoy a couple of uh, drinks here. Uh, to end the night, to relax and unwind. So, cheers, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of Chinatown. And uh, this ends our tour. Thank you so much for watching the video and supporting our channel. I hope to see all of you again in our next video of Thailand. In the meantime, wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, have fun, and be happy. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody.